Hello and welcome to Pan African News 360 on GUN. This is News in 5, and I am Vuyom Grelo. These are your headlines. A U.S. Treasury blacklist Gupta brother for widespread corruption. Concord upholds APES court ruling on Stellenbosch language policy. The Hawks in AFU raid a home of Zandile Kumede and seize assets. McCain pulls out of partnership with teams over abuse claims. Italian skipper blows a fuse as violent typhoon cuts the Japan World Cup trip short. The U.S. Treasury has slapped the controversial affluent Gupta family and South African businessman Salim Essa with sanctions of leveraging the political connection to engage in widespread corruption. Seagal Mandalka of the Treasury Under Secretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence says that the sanctions will be imposed to the Gupta for significantly benefiting from a widespread corruption. The Treasury's designation targets the Gupta's pay-to-play political patronage, which was orchestrated at the expense of South African people, said Mandalka. She said, and I quote, we will continue to exclude the U.S. financial system from those who benefit from corruption. These sanctions are targeted at brothers Adul, Ajay and Rajesh Gupta. Now, the Constitutional Court held up a high court ruling on the implementation of the University of Stellenbosch's decision to choose English over Afrikaans as their main language of instruction. Now, the tertiary institution has adopted the new policy to allow for the inclusion of multilingual and integration fair and equal access to the institution. Now, Gheleke Kanse, a voluntary association and civil rights organization, had challenged the decision, saying it has biasedly supported um, South Africans who could not afford afford tertiary education through their own forms of native language, especially the brown African-speaking people in the Western Cape. So now Hawks are involved in everything. So this is what happened. The Hawks and members of the Assets Forfeiture Unit have raided former Etegwini Mayor Zandile Gumedo's home at Umtlanga. This happened yesterday. So it is reported that they've seen some of her luxury sports cars, amongst them being a Porsche and a Lamborghini. Like, imagine a Lamborghini. So this is what happened because apparently Lucy C decided to go to Yazini since our band are coming to get my things i out in pakishe move out of this home that she had apparently told people that's her home so i figure one to media people i hawks getting there how the owner comes out go to what do you mean this is not zandile's house she was renting here so they quickly went and they had to go to her house in inanda and they found her there and then voila they started taking things so ucc also didn't tell them that she had moved so that's breaking the law and she had gotten herself a new lawyer which is i think she really she's really going to need one because lena and gangai in entertainment utibs mccain potato people they're just like i am fine now and now you're an abuser we don't want to work with you we don't want to be associated with people that abuse people or they abuse their girlfriend so utepu mvundla who is mfundi mvundla's daughter <laughs> yeah who is currently now dating JR. <laughs> yeah, so, so girl went on Twitter. She decided to go to Yazin. Guys, since everyone is, is talking and coming out about this abuse, I just want to say my story. Utebs, who is Debelo, was abusing me. So the friends were like, yes, we've been there. We've seen this. Blah, blah, blah. But hey, so there's some ladies on Twitter that are just like, mm -mm, we are not going to believe this thing is the proof. We want to see proof. How are we going to be like, oh, conquer or be conquerors when we as women are not standing together? But I feel like, Yazini, great move that was done by my Ken. I am so happy and I'm actually going to continue supporting you guys. I'm going to, you know, when I'm done here, I'm going to check us and go get myself some chips. Now, this is what is happening since everyone is fuming over this typhoon thing it storms in sports fuming italian captain sergio paris uh, has blasted a rugby world cup organizers for ultimately cutting their trip from japan short because of the incoming typhoon whatever on thursday the organizers um uh, announced that the cancellation on saturday's matches between england and france and new zealand which were both in a path of gradually increasing a storm now according to the rules all four clubs walk away with two points each in 
what is then deemed as a draw, right? So, however, this means that the unlike England and France, New Zealand, who are through, Italy misses out a chance to advance to the quarterfinals. I mean, yeah, by as they were not gonna win, but give the guys a chance. It's not fair. I mean, just because and winning lotto. And I didn't see my tickets. I still want to go and check the numbers. What if we need to run? I mean, come on, guys. It's not fair. And yeah, so the defending champions have been in Italy's positions, literally. So it is difficult to know that we won't have the chance to play a match against one of the greatest teams. That's what he said. So I think maybe he just wanted to play with them just to say I played with them. But if New Zealand needed four or five points against us, it would have not been cancelled. You know what? It's fine move on it's done it's done i don't think they're going to change it but for more of these news go to our official website and communicate with us and interact with us we love hearing everything from you from myself and the news in five team guys we'll see you tomorrow